Scorpio, Marianne from Re Revealing Light Tarot. This is your tarot scope for the month of March. I'm just um, kind of in um, a clairvoyant mode here, which is why I opened up the way that I did. This reading is for those with Scorpio, sun signs, rising, uh, moon, if your moon is in Scorpio, or other placements as well, if you if this reading uh, resonates, major play, placements. So I feel that there is a, uh, the reason that I was so um, occupied when I opened up was because I was tuning in clairvoyantly to your energy. I did see like a star guiding you. So you could be going through some kind of um yeah i mean with scorpio it's either it's either light or it's dark or it's you know darkness moving to light or light moving to darkness i mean scorpio rules the eighth house of the zodiac which is death and rebirth transformations endings and beginnings but i feel that there is a guiding light for you for those scorpios that are in the cycle of ending something transforming something uh, there is something that is guiding you and this light will be there in order for you to it's to show you something it's to show you a way of it's like the hermit card which is associated which of course is Virgo's um, Virgo's uh, Virgo's card and of course Virgo rules the sixth house of work and health um, it's encouraging you to use your own light now what is light uh, light is something that we search for light is something that we reach for light is something that reveals things to us it's like the opposite of you know doing things in the same old way now there's a shooting star behind me it's about stepping outside the box and doing something differently if you keep doing things the same way you'll get the same result the uh, message here is to do something differently step outside your normal behavior or patterns and try something different okay all right show me uh, what is coming forward for Scorpio for the month of March show me Scorpio month of March Again, I'm getting that uh, that light, that star. Transformation, primal uh, wisdom and instinct. This is a shapeshifter. Transformation, primal wisdom and instinct. You know what you've got to do. Now you've got to do it. And there is a guiding star to help you. Now we have soul kin recognition family kinship for some scorpios this will be understanding who they are based upon their ancestral lines this is asking you to go deeper to go deeper it's also showing me that the guiding light is coming from not only your ancestral lines but also the essence of who you are. This is, a, this is wisdom. This is about the getting of wisdom. And we have prophecy, guidance and direction. Prophecy, guidance and direction. There's somebody here you should be listening to. Now it's either, you know, it could be a combination of things. It could be your inner knowing. It could be um, what, what your instinct is telling you. But it could also be seeking outside guidance and direction as well. Hence that guiding light. So we have the life bringer, establishment, growth and fulfillment. At the end of the day, the reason that we shed skins is for growth. And so you're going through some kind of transformation, I feel, in March. Let's draw a Celtic cross and see if we can get some more information. Scorpio, show me Scorpio. Show me Scorpio for the month of March. Hmm. Show me Scorpio for the month of March. Show me Scorpio, please. Hmm. Yeah. 
the moon. Yeah. So this is things coming to the surface. Uh, it's also an upsurge of emotion. It's water energy as well. But, you know, it. To, I mean, this is Cancerian card. But to me, it's it's showing the depth. This is kind of like a Pluto energy. Uh, getting to the bottom of things, plumbing the depths in order to get that illumination, in order to get that pathway forward and to see why you had this mountain to climb. So that's the um, signifier card, challenge by review. Yeah, there's some deep kind of soul searching going on here in March for Scorpios. The foundation of the reading is the chariot. You will be getting insights quite quickly. Things are changing. Things are changing. Now, making sure things stay on track is also very important. I'll bring the laptop down and you can see these beautiful cards. The star tarot and the fairy forest with the oracles. So there's been this loss, hence the transformation, the five of uh, cups. But I don't feel it's just one loss. I feel it's many losses that you're processing at the moment. Because when we go through major transformations, it's never just one thing, is it? It's it's like an intersection of things. And, uh, and, and we get that opportunity then to reflect and to join the dots. I feel you're joining the dots also in March. Two of Cups. We've got relationships, partnerships. So again, um, part, you know, any Scorpios with placements in the seventh house, which is partnerships, relationships. Your Some of your issues could be around these things. It's in the sky. It's about getting, there's that moon again. It's about getting things back on track, love, back on track through reflection. The dolphins here, what do dolphins do? Well, they are very close to human intelligence, aren't they? They are high, highly advanced creatures. There's some sort of reflection and light here that you need to do guiding light. So I have the Ten of Swords in the immediate future. You've been hit by, and I think from judging by, if I can recollect your last lot of readings, something is ending. Old cycles are ending for you. And things could have come at you with a degree of you know, charge in them, making you, uh, the other aspect of the moon is an upsurge in, in emotions. It may not have been the easiest time for you. It may not still be the easiest time for you. We have the nine of pentacles. There's one, um, I guess, certainty in your life and for some Scorpios, and that is your ability to have what you need to have the resourcing that you need. Um, you know, Scorpios generally go out and get what they need. Uh, and I feel that in relation to finances in March, you will have what you need to keep your independence. The atmosphere around or the environment around is temperance, all things in moderation. You're a great balance of Scorpio, I feel. Um, I cannot be... Um, uh, miss the death card, which is endings and beginnings. Look at the, this is your card. This is, you know, you've got this ending. You've got the phoenix coming. Th Actually, it is a, um, it looks like a phoenix, but it, it's, it's a cross. It's also a golden peacock almost or lyre bird. Um, but we have this, this phoenix type of energy. Something emerging from the ashes. And my attention is to the on onto this butterfly as well. So there are potentially new starts for you. Somebody is going to offer you something in March. It's a it's an offer of love. It could be an offer from uh, a partner, 
could be an offer of a job. Um, it's in the hopes and fears. So it's showing me, again, uh, that even though you fear, even though you fear that, that you won't achieve what you want to achieve, you, you shouldn't be losing hope either. The Nine of Wands. Okay, so the Nine of Wands is your gift card here. This is around saying no to perhaps the old ways of doing things, putting up certain boundaries that you know that you need, making sure the pendulum is centred, making sure you're centred. And the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving help. This is an auspicious card. I don't think Scorpios will be wanting for resources in March. Or you may receive a message around money in March. A loan comes through, a job offer, something comes through which helps you. And the Six of Swords, some Scorpions will be travelling. Some Scorpions will be moving out of troubled waters and onto new horizons. So the outcome card that's important here is the Nine of Wands. Healthy Boundaries. Moderation and temperance are coming through. Something is ending. Something new is beginning. You have been disappointed, but look at that huge cup that is remaining. And the six, uh, the six of cups. Now we've gone from one to six. Look for that guiding light. Look for the good counsel. Step outside of the box and the way that you're used to doing things. Change something. Because you are in a period of transformation. Something is ending. Something new is beginning. All right, Scorpio, I will leave it there. Um, all the best uh, for the month of March. Thank you.